so, when I first started this project, I thought that I was just gonna do a list of five things that I like about DaVinci Resolve Studio. Well, after thinking about it for a little, I ended up coming up with a list of 10 things. So there's that. So yeah, 10 things about DaVinci Resolve. <laughs> Explore a wide selection of pre-made creative tools for DaVinci Resolve, like titles, transitions, slideshows and infographs, like bar charts and callouts, and much, much more. Link in the description for more information. So the first one, everyone that has DaVinci Resolve Studio knows about for the most part, but people that are just getting into DaVinci Resolve really don't know that this exists. Typically, you would buy a license of this particular product and then you would be able to use that product for however long you want it to, right? And then when the new version came out, you had to buy the new version or the new license. Currently, Blackmagic provides a free upgrade for current DaVinci Resolve Studio owners. So if you bought DaVinci Resolve 15, you've gotten 16 for free, and then you've also gotten 17. And that practice has been going on for a number of years now. And so, yeah, that's freaking awesome. You continue to use it. And, you know, for the foreseeable future, it seems like that's the model that they're going to keep. And going into the next thing is that your license of DaVinci Resolve, it doesn't matter anymore if you have a dongle or if you have the key uh you get davinci resolve you get all the pages in davinci resolve but then on top of that you also get fusion studio and last uh for davinci resolve 16 and studio 16 or a fusion before if you had the dongle which is the usb stick that you have to have plugged into your computer to authorize that you have a valid license that was the only thing that would make davinci resolve studio and fusion studio work going into now 17 one thing that i noticed is my license the serial key it works in both so that's freaking cool and the cool thing with the license is that you can have it on two systems at the same time so yeah there's that that's pretty cool. The next one's mainly about GPU acceleration. In DaVinci Resolve, the free version, there's also accelerated stuff. Big thing that a lot of people see is that when they have H.264 footage, the compressed stuff that get that you get out of most like DSLRs and things like that, it's significantly faster. And the reason being is because they're using two uh, decoders. You have the one that is with your operating system that DaVinci Resolve uses, or you have the Blackmagic ones that uh, ship with with the studio version of DaVinci Resolve. So the, you know, they're kind of one's heavy handed and uses your resources and goes really slow. And for some people that works, you know, it's, it's not that big of a deal. And then you have the other one, which is like GPU accelerated, which is significantly faster. It's more fluid, it's day and night for a lot of people that work with DSLR footage. So going off from uh, H.264 and talking about that, when you get studio, you also get the ability to render out in H.265. That's the newer version of it that allows you to compress files even smaller and you still maintain the same visual level of compression, uh, depending on you know what you actually pick. So you have that as well. And then for H.264, you can also uh, use GPU Excel accelerated encoding. So that's all going out of DaVinci Resolve instead of uh, taking in the footage. The next one, DaVinci Resolve's noise reduction. For my knowledge, this is still a studio only and it is freaking fast and it is amazing. So yeah, there is that. You can take some really grainy footage and uh, make it look really good without it, without it looking very blurry. So the next one is the DaVinci Resolve Neural Network. I don't remember exactly when this was brought in. I Maybe it was the last DaVinci Resolve or the one before it. I don't really remember, but uh, this is going to allow you to have uh, DaVinci Resolve analyze your footage and determine uh, for, it's used for a number of things now. You can have it do face recognition. So if you're looking for a particular person in your footage across all of your files that you have, it will look through it and then it'll put it in specific bins. Um, uh, for if it's like the same person. You also have super scaling. A lot of people have done um, stuff on that, taking lower res footage and, and uh, making it bigger, almost increasing the level of quality um, to a degree, kind of. And you also have, uh, when you analyze the footage, being able to do object removal. So we've all seen the, the scene with the cup that was in the shadows and being able to remove stuff like that relatively easily without having to have someone that, that, that has the skills to do like rotoscoping and stuff. So going off 
to i don't even know what number we're on i just kind of have like a list here the the next one is going to be your resolutions and frame rates so davinci resolve is amazing because i always get this question like oh does davinci resolve the free version put watermarks on or what is the maximum resolution and stuff like that well the free version is 4k at 60 frames per second davinci resolve studio can take up to a 32k video and it can also do that 32K video at 120 frames per second. So that is a lot of pixels. Uh, if you haven't seen, DaVinci Resolve has a whole bunch of these Resolve FX. Now you can also get open FX and there's tons of companies that do open FX for every program you could ever imagine. So you do have that ability, but in DaVinci Resolve, you also have Resolve effects, And those are effects that are, for the most part, I believe that if I'm not, mistaken 99% of them are all GPU accelerated. The next one is for people that are looking to remove lens distortion easily without having to have like lens profiles or anything like that. Pretty much what it does is it uh, looks at your footage while it's moving and so on and it can kind of determine pretty accurately the lens distortion that has to be applied to get rid of the uh, the distortion from the lens without having to have all of like the profiles and all that kind of thing. This is like really quick. You can have it click it, analyze it, and then boom, it gives you an idea. You can, there's also a slider I believe that you can uh, play around with. It's been such a long time since I've uh, used it, but uh, when I did use it, it was pretty quick. And, and then finally, uh, this is for uh, if you're working with a group of people or if you're working on a lot of videos. So let's say you're a editor and you are working on a lot of uh, projects and you know, for most people, time is money. So why have your system that you're editing on be bogged down with a render and that is DaVinci Resolve Studio allows you to do network rendering. So you can have another system somewhere on the network that can take all the project files and render it on their end and then spit out a uh, finished product. So it's like having this other machine and there's, when you go to the deliver page, there's a button that you can click and boom, send that project off to the other system uh, in the building or wherever it is and have it just render out that project for you and you can jump right into the next project. So yeah, that's pretty much my list of things that I like about DaVinci Resolve Studio that is a little bit different than the, the uh, free version of DaVinci Resolve, the non-studio version as I'm going to attempt to start saying more often. But uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys are, if you haven't jumped into DaVinci Resolve, maybe this makes it uh, easier to, to jump into it. I don't get anything. I didn't get paid to make this video. I just wanted to show people the, uh, the differences between the two. One, because I get the emails uh, asking me about it. And two, because a lot of people don't know about the first thing that I said, that the license continues on. Because a lot of people, right now with it uh being the public beta of davinci resolve the newest version uh people keep asking me like oh you know when do you think it's gonna come out so i can buy this so i can buy it and i'm like well just buy it now and you'll have studio and you can continue using studio for the next version so so yeah that's pretty much it thank you all for watching my name's jr have a good day stay safe and i'll talk to you guys later see ya